My name's Travok, and welcome to Tier 8 of the Streets of Mir. It's fucking scary down here. And my name is also Lee. We're doing this again, are we? We are. Okay. <laughs> I'm Carl, I'm playing Gracchus this week. And she wanted to suck me dry, but then... Uh, no. <laughs> we'll save it. We'll save it for its inevitable appearance in the episode. It needs to happen. Every time I have Travok, we need to tell the suckers. Yeah. How many now have we been hearing that line from Travok? <laughs> every, every, everyone. Every single <laughs> Everyone that he's been in. Every I time. Think. I need to double check the last two we recorded, but I think it's everyone. It's, it is. And I'm and I'm Matt, and I'm the DM. It's but even in the write-up. Just so when we... out there as well, that we've been playing D&D as a group of three of us now for about a decade. Lean made up Travok in the very first campaign we were in. Yeah. So we've been hearing that line. Well, not the Succubus one. The Succubus one only started when we started playing Senon, which was the precursor. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. So about six months then. But Travok was a saucy, a saucy guy in the first one. He was actually a, a just a, a rock, a rock of a dwarf. Yep. And he wanted to, he wanted to fuck one of the party. I can't remember who it was now. Ash. I Ash think it was Ash. Ash was playing the guy. He was playing, yeah, he was the, playing guy. the guy. He was but Ember Beard. I was oh, like, yeah. like you, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, but he wasn't a feminine elf, so you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I turned him into a woman in the novel. This is true. This is true. Anyway, hello. The Welcome novel. back. Four Guardians, out now on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Third one just finished, PS. <laughs> yep, third one coming out before Christmas, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway. You've started shilling now, folks. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to the streets of Mia. Um, last we left off in uh, case five, search for Valentine. Last we left off, Gracchus and Travok had pursued Cassius's captors, followed their trail mm. through a couple of trap, through a trap-laden building and into the sewers and all the way down to tier eight of Mir, the Undercity. And they've come up in an area known as Raven, which they've heard about from their good friend Nock. From a drinking game. Apparently it's a... Apparently it's a um, it's a wretched part of scum and villainy. A dark and scary place. Um, yes. And we'll open there. We'll open there. So you're... You're in... Um, you're in the middle of a deserted street. Um... There are rotten bits of, of wood everywhere. The um, the shops on either side of you are dark. The signs faded. Um, no glass in any window. No no uh, wares remaining. It's blasted out and abandoned. But the shadow of the Church of the Raven Queen hangs over you about about a street away. Now, if I was a better man, I would suspect your friend is in there. Mm. This is not a good place to be. If I was a better man, I would suspect that too. As I am a better man, I do suspect that. Mm. What do you remember about Raven, Gracchus? Only what Nock has let slip. Mm -hmm. That it is a very dangerous place, even in Mir, which is saying something. Um, The fact that it's also clearly has a church that the Raven Queen is a concern, that is supposedly a long dead god. Mm. Uh, So that's a worry that it's still being worshipped. Hmm. Make a make a um, investigation check. Can he use his um... spyglass? I would say I would say no because it's you're you're investigating the church. Okay. Cool. Getting uh, getting a reading on the church. Uh, that's sixteen. Okay. So talking of rolling stuff, I need my dice. Would you like me to roll an investigation roll as well, sir? Uh, if you like, yes, if you like. That looks like that's fucking trash. Actually, it's a 17. 
Mm, okay. So not trash. All right. Um, well, um, you can both tell that the church and everything around you is very, very... It has not been used for many, many years. These are very old buildings, very old streets. Um, any sign of dwelling is in kind of the nooks and crannies, but they are also abandoned. Mm -hmm. um, but the right. church itself, yeah, it looks it looks super old. Okay. Is there any indication from where we are as to where they dragged Cassius? Or if we can follow a trail? Do we have follow? any more skid marks? I mean, scuff mm. marks. Survival. Marks. You, you, may, you may well do. Survival. Uh, 15. 14. There are... There are some muddy, sort of damp footprints that are... Not quite dried. They've sort of stained the um, the stone underfoot, okay. and they lead. They seem to lead toward the the church. Right. Okay. Well, I guess we're following these footprints up to that fucking scary church. I guess we are. I very slowly start um, heading towards the church. Keeping an, I want to keep an eye out though for any sort of like shadows shifting around and that kind of thing, just to be mm -hmm. safe. Mm -hmm. um, Travis going to get ready with his uh, crossbow. Okay. This does not feel good. All right. So as you set off, as you set off, make me a perception check. Nineteen. Um, uh, seven, six, thirteen. Um, most of the shadows around you are shifting in one way or another. Ugh. Um, but they don't necessarily seem to be moving towards you. Okay. But, um, Gracchus, you can hear maybe two or three streets away. There is some kind of. I don't know about commotion, but you can hear sort of dog. What are you doing? <laughs> Good grief. You can hear a, a it sounds like grunting and and the sort of gnashing of teeth and the, the sort of snapping of of something. Right, okay. Of something. Um you figure as long as you're quiet, you won't attract any attention. Okay. I'm going to be very careful then and slowly head, continue heading towards the church. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, do you pick up on that, Travok? That he's going slowly. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Like but he's. Tra Travok's in like hunt mode. <laughs> Cool. In that case, roll stealth. Fucking hell, I got that roll. Uh, 19. 18. We are okay. very, we're very in sync, Carl. So far. <laughs> so, f so far, so good. Okay. So you pick your way along the along the street. Um, the shadows stay in wherever they are, in the alleyways and in the buildings. They remain shifting, but they don't, they don't move toward you. You uh, reach the end of the street and you it opens out into a fairly large square where with the, the church of the Raven Queen in the middle. Do we have anything around us? So we're, we're, we're going out into a very open place at the moment, Trevor. We'd like to scan the area. Mm-hmm. Roll, roll, a, roll a scanning check. Roll a um, perception. Roll for scan. <laughs> that is a good scan. That's 24. Mm. Um, it seems pretty... So, 
it seems reasonably quiet in the square and there's an absence of shadows here um you can see a few crumpled shapes dotted around um a couple by the um the door of the church of course there are crumpled shapes by the entrance of the church mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, are there any like loose bits of large fabric that i could possibly drape over myself my thinking is if they've got if whoever's taking cassius will probably know who i am to look also imagine a pretty tall orc is half orc is going to draw attention yeah so i'd rather sort of be able to at least if not cover my entire form at least cover my face or like have a hood sort of on my face um around here around here probably not um you're gonna have to if you probably hide your face with something that you've got in your pack I don't think I have much of my pack that's usable for that. Or something Travok has in his pack. No, I don't. I might. Travok, do you have anything I can use to cover my head, my face? He looks at you, looks at himself, and sort of looks at his cake and is like, this will probably do. I appreciate it. And he uh, takes off like a. Like uh, one of those people with the, the bullfighters. <laughs> Matador, nice. <laughs> Roll for style. <laughs> gonna say the people with the bullfighters might be the, the bull. <laughs> like a bull. He does it like a bull. He charges headfirst into the wall. Um, Roll for concussion. Yeah. It is It is about... It is a, a good size. You may have to sort of fold it, maybe, but... No, that's fine. Um, at that, I'm going to sort of over my head. Mm. I'm going to keep it reasonably loose so I can sort of pull it quite low and sort of bow my head a little bit. Like, mm. I know I'm a half orc, I'm pretty distinctive, but I'm concerned if they know they're taking cast, they'll probably know who I am, at least my face. Mm. So, at least cover that maybe might help me. At that, I'm going to start walking towards the church. Okay. Now, Travok, with your 24, um, there are a couple, there is one fairly large spire, which mm. is where the, the Raven Queen is is sat on top of. Um, there were some windows up there. Mm. The windows, you didn't see any movement behind any of them. Okay. Um, so you may well be in the clear. Mm-hmm. And I, so I just go in his mind. Now I think we're in the clear. From what I can see, there's see over there. You can see I don't know what they are. And then we got two more by the by the entrance. I think if we take this slow and we take it quiet, we should be okay. But I think we'll uh Stick to the brain chat as we go. Agreed. Oh, Sorry about that. The dog got he wanted to leave and then he was he got very he dislikes the door for some reason. <laughs> oh Archie. Classic. Uh, I started opening the door and he was just like, No, no, not the door. <laughs> and then he left. So I don't know what's going on there. Okay. All right. And because of that, I did not hear a word you said. I said, I think we better take it slow, take it quiet, and just talk through the old brain box for now. Okay, cool. There are some crumpled figures there, there, but everywhere else seems clear. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, so, hmm, I suppose then you're trying to get across the uh, courtyard stealthily. We are indeed. Yeah. So, uh, roll for stealth. So nice. One off being the nicest. Mm. Not bad. Sixteen. Twenty-six. Okay, nice. Better nineteen on that shit. <laughs> mm. 
So but as a combi, that's that's very nice. That's well over forty. So you um you make your way very very quietly across the courtyard. Um, there's no movement from the church. There's no movement around you. Um, as you pass by a couple of these crumpled figures, they seem emaciated. Um, their eyes are, are very blank, gone very beady. Everything's sunken in. Uh, the teeth are filed. They're sort of chipped and they look a lot sharper than they were. Um, these are these are kind of humans and elves. A couple of um, of the sort of smaller races as well, the dwarves and and things. Very thin, very. But they're alive. No, they're dead. Mm -hmm. They're double dead. Okay. Yeah. So looking at them, you can tell that. Hmm. In fact. If you wanted to stop by them and investigate them, I'll allow that. Because I brought it up. I will. Yeah, I'm in for that. 16 for me. 15 for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what they've been killed by, uh, it seems to be um, a few cuts, a few sort of stabs and cuts um, a couple of <clears throat> puncture wounds that look to have been made by something fairly large. Um, signs of crossbow bolts impacting the the um, the bodies, but the bolts are gone. Um, so they seem to have been taken out from <laughs> any certain direction, per chance. <laughs> It varies. Just quickly, Are we in a killing field? field? Is it a two-way connection? Can I just randomly reach out to you tele telekinetically, or do you have to talk to me first? It says, speak telepathically with one creature within 30 feet. I've been taking this as though I make a link in your brain, and mm. we have a little chat. I'm fine. DM, what do you want? I'm fine with that. Yeah. Cool. We've got an open line. Sweet. So, telepathically to, to Travok. This doesn't look good. No, and it doesn't appear that it comes from one way. That's what worries me. Mm. It suggests that they were surrounded, possibly. Attacked from multiple directions. And more importantly, someone didn't want to leave evidence of what they used. Taking the bolts back suggests you don't want to be known as who you are. Oh, you ain't got a lot of shit to be throwing around, but probably the second, the first one. There is a notable absence of blood around them as well. Is there a notable absence of blood within them? Like being um, emaciated and fucking weird. To the, uh, like. What I'm asking, as a hunter, have these been like fucking vamped? I about to say, you go with a vampire. Yeah. Um... I don't know if you'd... I don't think you'd be able to tell at this point um, if they've had their blood, blood drained or anything like that. But they are... Um, there's not much blood around them, which either suggests that they were they were dead, they, they're, they're undead of some kind, or they... Were moved here. Or they were moved there. Are these puncture wounds? Punctures and slashes. Okay. Because I... I... I'm very good at recalling information concerning monstrosities. In fact, okay. I get advantage on this. Hmm. Just giving me anything here. Crossbow bolts, fine. That's people. Hmm. Some of the slashes may be people. These puncture wounds are the thing that are concerning me. Hmm. You don't. You don't get much from it. Okay. Just that they're made by something. Fairly, fairly large and very sharp. But not necessarily an animal. This could be a weapon. Could be. Okay. I keep dropping dice on the floor. 
<laughs> it's very poor form. It is incredibly poor form. Very poor form. I don't want to linger outside too much if they've been killed, so I'm going to start heading back towards the church. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm going to say with your stealth roll, that's fine. You'll be able to um, to get back to the church without much of a problem. The crumpled figures at the entrance, should we make it that far safely? They are the same. Uh, they are. Um, but there is a bit of blood around them. Okay. Fresh, old? Um... <clears throat> I want to inspect their, their bodies. If yeah, I see blood there, I want to see what makes them different. I think it's wise, isn't it? We need to be understanding what we're bloody walking into. Uh, so this is an investigation, you say, Matt? Yes. Uh, 19. Oh, stop it. <laughs> 18. <laughs> <laughs> this is a ludicrous episode. <laughs> uh, okay. So the blood is... You'd estimate it's a couple of weeks old, maybe. Right. Um, the body's also a couple of weeks old. Which would be about when Cass disappeared. I think, yeah, this is this is Cass era, isn't it? This yeah. is a bit after Cass, actually, isn't it? Would have been, would have been about the length of time Cass has been missing. Hmm. Um, so it's possible that... Well, we, we know they must have held Cass in that house for a while mm -hmm. and then brought him down this way. It's not a stretch to imagine they probably killed the people here mm -hmm. and and to, for no witnesses and then let and then came through this way. Okay. Um, I want to check the door to make sure there's nothing on it or attached to it or anything like that that might hurt me as I kick it open or open it. He remembers. Yes. <laughs> the thing is, they've trapped one door and they've mm. trapped the other one. Weirdly enough, they trapped the ladder going, coming from here, but not to here, which means they must go back and forth. Are they trapped? They trapped both. They're both. They were. They were trapped both. Yeah, but, but we came up and you got it out. Yeah, but that's my point. That one was designed to get you if you're coming in from this end, mm -hmm. not if you're going up the ladder. Which means they walk this path a lot. Yeah. So it, everything's just ahead to the church at the minute. Yeah. I'm going to check that for traps. Well, I think that's wise. Mm. Uh, I think you'd be investigating that door. Oh, that's not as good. That's only a 13. Should you need any assistance? Looking at that door. I would uh, certainly appreciate that. I put my eye over there. Didn't help, but still only a 13. <laughs> God well. damn, this door is dusty. Oh. <laughs> um... <laughs> Well, description on the door that distracted you. There doesn't seem to be any. Um, doesn't seem to be any kind of switch or anything connected to the handle. Doesn't seem to be much. Um, okay. On sort of the jam or anything. It Which seems. Way does it open? It opens outward. Okay. So you'd be pulling it toward you. I will slowly put open. I will try the handle, see if it's locked first. Um, just turning? Yeah, just slow, just slowly pulling it to see if it opens, if it's locked or not. It's unlocked. Okay. At that, I want to pull the door slightly ajar so I can get them and then look into the church through that gap. I don't want to just swing the door open in case someone's in there, basically. I want to see if I can see anyone inside the church. Well, how, how about you open that door and I'll peek through from a bit further. I can shoot through a crack in the door, no problem. Cool. I will <laughs> open the door and step out of the line of fire for him so he can look for the crack in the door. Okay. You um, you open the door a crack. How, how big a crack are we talking? A couple of inches. So like okay. that big. <laughs> Maybe you throw like, it open without a care. But maybe like an inch or two at most. Cool, okay. Um so inside you can see um mm -hmm. do you have dark vision, uh Travok? Maybe. 
No. Oh, for God's sake. I forgot you're one of the few I'm races. one of the few fucking races in all uh, of the that does not have fucking dark vision. Oh, you can re-roll run. You can re-roll one. Suck it up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, pretty dark in there. Um, you can't see. Uh, you can't see much. Make a perception check. I just forgot. I can't see in the dark. Can't really see much. But uh, that's uh, maybe I can see something because that was a twenty-five. <laughs> you can make out. So you can make out the outlines of pillars. You can make out the outlines of pews. Mm -hmm. You can even make out what seem like figures sat in the uh, in the pews. They haven't reacted to the door opening. Did it sound? Is it open? Uh, it made a very low, uh, uh, like a little. That was supposed to be a creak. Very low creak. Okay. That should be audible to the nearest person. You would th you would think it would be audible. Mm. There's things which look like they're sat in there, but they paid no attention to that door opener. Well, you can see any better in the dark than me. Best poke your head around. Mm, okay. I poke my head around. I have to have a look through, see if I can see anything. Okay. Um, how? So, are you keeping the trying to keep the door? I, I, about the same as it was before. Maybe a little bit more because I've got a bigger head. Mm. <laughs> okay. Big old head. All right. Um, what did you roll then? Uh, it was a seventeen. So you can make out you can make out the same stuff. Um, this is quite clearly a church. I mean, obviously, from the outside it's a church, but on the inside it's a church as well. It looks, you know, as you would expect a church to look. Um, the figures that Travok mentioned. They look like skeletons to you. Okay. So they're just, they, it seems like the worshippers that were just long dead. Right. At that, I'm going to slowly just continue putting the door open. Okay. Make a dexterity saving throw. Now I get advantage on these. Oh. I've yeah. got danger sense. Oh, okay. So traps and spells, I get advantage on dex saving throws. Cool. You sense danger. Uh, fucking better do after all the doors he's opened and got fucking wafted by fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 17. Okay. Where did I... It's here. Okay. We should have known. How how much do you open it? So, you, um... You, as you open the door... Your hackles raise a little bit and you hear a click and you instinctively kind of dodge out of the way as a pair of what look like kind of scythe blades swing down from above the door and um, you dodge one, um, but you do not dodge the other and you take four damage. Just four? Just four. Yeah. Cold. That is, in, yeah. That is taking the deck save into account. Cool, that's fine. Yeah. Um, you ain't too good with these doors, are you, boy? I don't deal with these sort of fuckers usually. Fair point. Mm -hmm. The door is open, though. Let's have a look. Yep. Start, I, want, I want to start looking through the places. Anything I can find that might help me track them down. I oh, see. So you, you, you going in? Yeah, I was, I was going to go. And have a look. I'm going in. Okay. Okay. Gracchus is getting impatient. <laughs> okay. So you go in. Um, Travok, make me a per mm -hmm, it's dark though. It's dark though. Make me a perception check. 17, 18. Okay. Um, no, nothing inside the church has moved. Mm -hmm. No sound from in there. 
You seem to be in the clear. Hmm. Travok steps inside, allowing his eyes to sort themselves out. Gleam. Allowing his eyes to okay. So you t- you step you step in. How far in do you go? I just probably like I'm I'm ranged, so he's just stepping in the the entryway. Okay, cool. The door sh- shuts behind you. Gracchus is already there. <laughs> Gracchus is already in there, correct? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Where is so? What Gracchus? Where are you? I would have so there, walked... there's two rows of pews. I'm I'm heading down the middle of those pews. Um, I'm going to head to what probably would have been like the pulpit or the altar area. Yeah. So to give you a sort of layout of the room, as your eyes adjust, Travok, and obviously you can see this, uh, Gracchus. There's two rows of pews. There's a few skeletons arrayed in the pews. How they died is somewhat of a mystery. Um, at this point, you wouldn't be able to tell because it's just been so long. Um, there is a dais at the end. There is a sort of raised area with an altar on it. Um, the altar is shaped like a raven. Classic. Because they're very on brand. Yep. Um, there are various... You can just make out like a few murals and things on the walls. Um, depicting the Raven Queen's rise to uh, depicting her ascendance to, to godhood. Um, but apart from that, very, very quiet. Um, Gracchus, roll me a... I think it's going to have to be a deck save again. Dirty 20. Okay. Now you don't seem to be... How much care are you taking as you walk down the... I'm, I'm, I'm get, he's getting impatient, but he's still con, I'm still conscious that these fuckers are laying traps quite frequently. Mm. So I'm not stomping down heavy-footed. Yeah. I'm... But I'm all, at the same time, I'm not picking my footfall meticulously. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, with that 20 then, that'll that'll open up a perception check for you. And for travel as well. Natural 20. 16. So, 24 total. Okay. So, um, Gracchus... Hmm, okay, so Travok, as he's going down the row, you both notice about the same time that there are certain tiles on the floor are discoloured. Mm-hmm. They just look a little bit cleaner than the other ones. Um, and Gracchus, you can see that they're raised ever so slightly. Hmm. Um, you and you notice that you take a quick look around you, looking for anything that could be triggered by you stepping on this thing. You don't see anything though, even with the 20, even with the nat 20, you don't see anything that they could possibly trigger. Okay, but they are press, they are basically pressure plates. Right, okay. Uh, okay, I want to start he- carrying heading towards that dais, but I'm going to keep an eye out for any more pressure plates. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you see that there are... Hmm. So the tiles are kind of laid out in a grid. Um, every three rows or so, there is a, uh, a row of pressure plates. Okay. Travok, are you following? I mean, can I have a little look at these pressure plates? 
like the first lot. He hasn't really gone anywhere yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Trabok is making much less haste about this. Mm. I would investigate that. Mm. Investigation. Uh, dirty 20. Hmm, okay. So, those pressure plates, they are... Looking at them, you can't really tell what they're connected to either. Mm. So even looking around, so you see the the sort of very, very thin gap mm -hmm. um, between them and the rest of the, the tiles in the floor. Mm -hmm. um, you imagine there's enough pressure, like if you planted a foot on it, they would, they would trigger. Mm -hmm. But again, you're not sure what they would trigger. Mm -hmm. Because again, there's nothing. Not there about. doesn't seem to be anything around that they could hmm. trigger. Hmm. Perhaps it does not trigger anything here. Perhaps. Hmm. I will be careful with my footfalls and lead up the rear carefully and slowly. Mm -hmm. um, how careful, though? Make me a dexterity saving throw. With advantage, because you, you see things. Well, luckily, I have, like, double advantage, because the first one was a one. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, 25. Okay, yeah, you're fine. So you, you hop over them. The um, the gaps are a little big, but you, they're, they're okay for you. Mm. You can sort of Mario hop mm. Wahoo! over them. Mm. Uh, so at the end, which I guess is where you are as well, uh, Gracchus, at the end of the room, there is the dais, and there are two doors. One of them is um, completely blank. The other one has um, danger written on it. That seems very out of place, doesn't it? <laughs> mm. Written in common. I mean... Newly? Or this recent? Right. In investigate it. I'm going to investigate the shit out of this danger door. Um, 14. 19. We're out of sync now, Carl. It was a good run. Good. It was a good run. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty fresh. Yeah, it's pretty fresh. Definitely fresher than anything else in the in the church. Mm. And these doors have handles to go through them, and mm -hmm. yes. Now this one, you with your was it a nineteen investigation? Mm -hmm. With that, you can tell that this door is not trapped. Okay. The other one? Uh, investigate that. Oh, oh, yeah, I just did the danger door, didn't I? Uh, one more, 20. Dirty 20. That one is. Well. It is also locked. Here's the thing, Gregus. This danger door, it ain't trapped. It ain't locked. That one is trapped and locked. If I had something dangerous behind the door and I wanted someone to walk through it, I wouldn't be trapping it either. If I had something behind a door, I'd be locking it. And if I was a nefarious kind of sort like uh, people that we're following, I think it's that door. Could be that the pressure plates open that locked door. Whatever they were uh, keeping behind it gets let out. It, it certainly could. Little bell in there. Who knows? Mm. I ain't got any kind of thing to unlock a door, but I could certainly have a look at untrapping it. Okay. I want to take a quick look at one of these skeletons if I can, actually, Matt. Okay. 
Well, let's see okay. if I can try and work out any kind of cause of death or anything like that. Like any indications of like breaks or like scratch on the bones that might indicate how they were they were killed. Uh, medicine for that. Okay, it's a seventeen. I'm taking it as red that you're avoiding the pressure plates. Y yeah. Um. So. There's no, there are no breaks, there are no abrasions on the bone. Um, these are almost, almost clean bones, though, almost. Um, you can see on the, um, on the pews, either beside them or, or even sort of between, just or sort of on the lap, or clutched in the fingers. There are sort of tiny glass bottles. Okay. Mass suicide then. Also, strangely, next to some of them are swords. Just short swords. Huh. Can I get any idea of like how old these weapons are? They are old-ish, but you don't think they're as old as the skeletons are. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So, uh, Travok, you say you were untrapping one of the doors. I'd like to have a little look at it and see what the trap situation is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What have we got? Well... Uh, what was your investigate? Your dirty 20, wasn't it? So, dirty 20 for the next one, yeah. You can see, but beside a catch, either on the, I think it's on the, the, the thing that when you turn the lock, it goes in. I don't know the name of it. Attached to that is a very thin wire, hmm. which seems to be the trigger. As for what the actual trap is, which is to assume when it opens like that, it snaps the wire or... Seems to be. So we don't want to be snapping that wire right close. Hmm. Or we want to be doing it when the door's closed. Can I see any evidence of a trap up outside here? Like the scythe situation that we have? Um, no, it doesn't seem to be. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything out here. Does it look like I could get a dagger through there? And... Probably. Okay. It's also locked, but also I've got a big key. I've got a big old key, like right, six foot six. Mm. And just go <sighs> for it. True. Actually, I don't want the key to get burnt or anything. <laughs> I like how I'm being referred to as a key at this point. You largely are a key, yes, at this point. I'm going to, right, I'm going to try and unfix this trap. I'm going to untrap this trap. Alrighty. That will be sleight of hand. Indeed. And that will be a, another dirty 20. This door is my bitch. Hmm. So, tick. You, uh, you snap the wire. Hmm. After about a third of a second, you uh, the the wood of the door shakes mm -hmm. and something, but a couple of things burst through it. Huh. These big like spears just <laughs> straight through the the wood of the door. More of you hear more impacts against it. So very similar to the first door. Harpoon shotgun. <laughs> Harpoon shotgun. Yeah. Okay, then. You finished over there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think if you open this door now, you won't be getting hurt this time. I think I sorted that out. But it's locked, so I could use your assistance. Okay. And, of course, if we 
done with being stealthy. I think you're going to be quite loud, and I think we're quite close to others. This, at this point, I need to know where the hell they took Cassius. As you wish. A bit loud, let's do it. And I'm, as I'm saying that to him, I just sort of boot the door as hard as I can. Strength. <laughs> Athletics. Just turns into dust again. Mm-hmm. 18 plus 7. 25. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I have a plus seven in this, all yeah. right? It's the one thing he's good at. Yeah, that your foot smacks against the door. I might and it sort of my... caves in and everything. It, the wood clatters and the harpoons <laughs> clatter to the ground. I might have to get a special right boot made for Gracchus that does up with like a skeleton head in it and just call it the skeleton key. Nice. Dope. All right. Well, so um, the stairs here uh, lead downward mm-hmm. into what seems to be the catacombs of the uh, the church. I'll lead. You got that big sword on your back. That's probably best. Mm-hmm. I start heading down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Okay, so you you head down. Looking for traps. Oh, you looking for traps, Travok? Traps. Okay, go ahead. Looking for stair traps. That was that was not very good. Uh, Fifteen. Okay, so um, Gracchus, you're um, smiling. Tell oh, he's smiling. <laughs> Your foot catches on. So as you you bring your foot down onto something, it goes, and there's a a little click of a uh, a pressure plate, and the stairs go from that to to that. Oh lord! Um, and suddenly they're very very slick. Okay. Incredibly slick. I want to try and surf them down. Don't. Okay. Travok would also like to surf them down. <laughs> At the bottom of the stairs, the floor slides away. No, oh, no. And um, you see the glint of something pointy and rust red. Yuck. Okay. <clears throat> so you're you're going down there? Yeah, I want to try and leap them. Okay, that's going to be acrobatics. Mm-hmm. Going to be a difficult push off. Uh, that is a eighteen. Okay. And Travok. Travok's going to misty step the bomb. <laughs> well, you can do that. Nice. <laughs> well, um, Travok, you're fine then. You, <laughs> um, Gracchus, you leap at the bottom. Your upper body, you get onto the the other side. One of your legs gets kind of just catches on a couple of these spikes um you take you take a three damage with that just three points of damage um it's not as bad as it could have been Starbuck hands him over a little little baggy he said i got these barriers i, I think you probably need them more than me they're good berries there are 10 in there they each they're a health point yeah Use them within 24 hours or they're useless. I'm good for now. I'll, I'll mm-hmm. keep holding them first and in case I need them later on. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you you basically leapt across a small atrium. There's an archway now, which leads into what looks like one corridor that sort of snakes around. Travel coffin. Perhaps. There are coffins on either side. 
of this. You're looking for traps, Travok. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to say Gracchus, I'm going to go, you need to keep your eyes out, boy. Yeah, I'm going for traps as well. I've got bags and bags for days, and I'd quite like it if you were able to see it for me. Mm-hmm. You need to slow down. 20 lots. 15. <clears throat> right. 25. So, um, Travok, peering through, you can see between some of these coffins are very, very thin, almost imperceptible, almost hair like wires. Mm. Okay. You see that? Does he see that, Matt? Do I see that, Matt? Because it didn't roll as well. No. Okay. But you haven't moved, so. No. I better, better take the lead then. Uh-huh. Gingerly stepping over hair wires. I'm going to mimic his movement. Stepping over them, yeah? If I can, yeah. How high are they? Um, They are... You may have to duck under them. Okay. They are at about knee height okay. on, a, on a human. Whenever I see him duck, I will step high mm-hmm. over that point. I was just imagining them at ankle height. Which is what I'm stepping over. He doesn't want to vault. He wants the easiest way through. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. All right. Hmm. I think for that, I'm gonna acrobatics. That yeah, for me. Just for um for Travok. The ducking. Just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 20, 20. It, it, it's not a high DC, but something might catch as you duck. Right, gotcha. 24. <laughs> but nothing does catch That's as you duck. Definitely. <laughs> you limbo underneath the trap wires. <laughs> yeah. Gracchus, you're fine. You, <laughs> you can get over them easily enough. They're about they're just below knee height on you, so you're you're fine. My small stature is thick in me in this, isn't it? <laughs> little pressure plates and these yikes well you you move you move through the corridor goes around for a little while there's no other door though that leads out of here it just snakes round and back to like the, atrium. the atrium where you came in I would like to inspect the coffins Okay. Are any of these different? Have any of them got different dust patterns on or anything like that? Mm. Um, Gracchus, uh, are you doing the same? Yeah, I'm looking on the fl- looking at the floor for any scuff or scratch mark in the cane where there might be like a, a swing out door or something like that. Um, um. Okay. Um, investigation then. Seventeen from me. And I will re-roll that shit. <laughs> uh, 23. Okay. So looking at the inscriptions, most of them are in... I didn't say what they were in. Most of them are in... I mean, it's the Raven Queen, so they're probably going to be an Infernal. It's the one I always pick. Mm. The nasty language I always pick. I've got it. Yeah, they just seem to be. They just seem to be names, though. Okay. So, as you look around, Infernal, 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 and then you see one that is in common. Okay. And what does that name say? It says. It says on it, Cassius Valentine. <gasps> mm. Marcus, your friend's name's up, up here. 
Okay. Um, now, Gracchus, what did you roll? The 17. 17. 17. Um, the air is slightly different out front of this, um, out front of this coffin in particular. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's like a breeze, just a right. little breeze. So based on previous experience, I'm going to check this specific coffin for any additional traps. <laughs> oh, why, why would you do something like that? Why would you use something so over the top, Carl? Because mm -hmm. experience, of poor, experience of crackers might be like a bit bullheaded, but he's been hurt a few times by the by traps. He no longer trusts any door related to what's going on here. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, um, make me an investigation check. It's a death twenty. Okay. Um, you have nothing to go on but your logic in this case. There are no signs of a trap. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to. <laughs> I, don't tr I still don't trust this door <laughs> or what's behind it. So what I will do is there one side where the breeze is obviously coming from, so it's like a swing or anything like that, or is it just that it's from around this coffin there is a breeze? It's like from around the coffin lid. Okay. So while you're doing that, Carl, I've looked at like what I am and this um, silent speech. Nowhere does it say that I have to see this thing. I need to see this creature within 30 feet of me. All, okay. all that is required is that I share a language with him and I can only do this with one at a time. So if I was to send a link with Carl, can I like pick up on any creatures? It doesn't say I need to see it. I would imagine you'd have to know it's there. I just want—I just want him to be like fucking Professor X. That'd be. Uh, he wants to do a Professor X moment, just mm. psychic research. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would say I would imagine you'd have to know the creatures there. Yeah. So, like, like, if you if you and Gracchus were in a different room, in different rooms, and thirty yeah, feet apart, you could do it. Yeah. They've missed a trick in that rule, though. Mm. Yeah, you could easily if. With the right DM and the right willingness, you could easily have that. That you could basically just sit in an area and just detect anything within thirty within thirty feet that you could mm. with. With the right DM or yeah. the the silliest DM. Yeah, depends on the right DM. Depends what they're. Yeah, yeah. With, okay, with, the, so... with the most gullible DM, you can do anything. Yeah. Um, okay. So, looking at the lid, is the lid just lifts away or is it hinged? It's hinged. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is position myself that when I open this lid, I am turning with it. So that if the opening, I am at no point exposed in the opening of the fucking lid, basically, because I'm the door might not be trapped. I don't, I still don't trust these people. I think I'd like to be behind that as well. Right, like, they've already had one harpoon shotgun at a door. There is a possibility they might do that again. They well, might have a trap. The third one. They seem to like harpoon shotguns. Exactly. So yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah. All right. So you, so you position yourself carefully. Travel. You're in the same position, right? I'm just going to be behind the big key. Okay. You open the coffin lid. It creaks <coughs> open. <laughs> Something large and thick, just out, straight out the front of it. And then it swings back. And then it swings forward. And then it swings back and forward. Big, heavy. It looks like it looks like something big and wooden reinforced with stone. Okay. It's just Swing in back and forth, and this has no sign of stopping. 
Yeah, momentum. you imagine it will stop yeah. at some point. I want to, re- as it's going to want to reach out and sort of try and slow it down. Not like stand in front of it, but like as it comes forward, put my hand on the front of it and sort of apply pressure so I can sort of push it back against its natural swing to try and bring it to a stop. Strength athletics, I think, for that. Because it's pretty heavy. How high is it? 23. It is. It's high enough to catch somebody around yeah. solar plexus height. So it's... What was it, 23? 23, I rolled, yeah. You manage to... You manage to slow it down at first, and then it swings back in, and then you catch it the second time and slow it down again until it's pretty much inert. Yeah, it's about solar plexus height, so it's intended to smash Square every again. cage, basically. Yeah. Or smash the head of a of a halfling. <laughs> so, for example. For example. For example. For example. Just, just completely up or nothing. So basically, yeah. I didn't with a, would have ended up with a caved in chest. You would have been decapitated. I would have. Yeah. Right. Mm. So this thing is, yeah, it's it's heavy duty. But behind it, there is another pathway leading downwards, cut very cleanly into the stone. Traps. Yeah, I'm checking for traps because. These fuckers like don't just there's redundancy on top of redundancy. There's redundancy at this point. Yeah, right. Like they're assuming that so this many traps in. They're assuming that sometimes they've fallen this far and either not triggered one of them or survived them all. Yeah. So they are not playing yeah. games. They oh, do not. Want, so we we're, we're on high alert. Yeah, yep. they do not want to be found. So any any time I head through a corridor now or open a door, I immediately then start looking around for any obvious traps. Cool. Yeah. Any new place you want us to go in, what is the role? We're checking for traps. Investigation, cool. and we will give you our number. <laughs> cool. Uh, what's your investigation? 15. 30, 20. These stairs leading down, they seem to have a couple of pressure plates on them. Mm-hmm. Bastards. You can avoid them, though. Can I avoid them? <sighs> can you? That was a stupid fucking question to ask a DM. Rules that like make just a... to any player. Don't ask DMs stupid questions like that. Roll um as you go down the stairs. Uh roll a heightist check. Yeah, I get it. Roll roll a heightist check, yeah. Roll dexterity. Got... Let's call them dexterity saves yeah. as you go down. Yay! Advantage. UP twenty three. Fuck your advantage. Sixteen. It would have been a three without it. Mm, okay. Well, that considering you can see them, you managed to get past them a fair bit. Um, and you reach the bottom of this stairway. Mm-hmm. The corridor leads to a another door. 21. This one is heavy iron. 21 from... 21. <laughs> from Travok. Not great. 13. Uh, you are killed instantly. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't see much of anything um, in the corridor. Neither of you see much of anything in the corridor. Um, the door itself, heavy iron. Mm. Um, it's... Uh, mm, no, it's not a jar. It is shut. Seems like they've heard about you, big boy. And they should learn to fucking fear me, then. I think they do with that door. Good. Okay. I can't see anything, so I think we're clear. Mm. He takes a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like... Mm. Gingerly steps towards the door. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's already saving for it. <laughs> Um, Full save. <laughs> You're poisoned. You're dead. <laughs> uh, investigate the door for me. 19. Bracus as well. 15. Okay. Uh, it seems to be very, very heavy, very reinforced. 
um, meant to keep people out. Meant to keep big boys out. Mm. Okay. It is locked. Um, potential for picking or uh, manipulating in some way. Let's just try to manipulate then, because none of us have been. <laughs> I mean, mm. if we had Cassius here, he'd be. Yeah, Gracchus are doing basically just grabbing it and trying to wrench it off its fucking hinges, to be honest with you, right now. He is getting sick and tired of these motherfuckers and their traps. Mm hmm. All right. Well, attempt to manipulate the lock. How? How do you attempt to do that? I mean, you just had Gracchus's idea there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about this. Mm -hmm. I could perhaps play play the tune on my flute, or uh... <laughs> or does Gracchus's thing work first, and I'll travel up and take a step back and have a little. Is Grax's thing to hit the door until it submits? No, it's to sort of. I want to try and have a look at the hinges and see if they're how breakable they might be. Okay, go ahead and look at them. It's an eighteen on investigation. They don't. They look pretty heavy duty, and they look pretty pretty strong. Okay. I mean, I've got a crowbar in my kit. <laughs> okay. So they might look strong. <laughs> Are they angry Gracchus strong? That's the question, I suppose, Cause, isn't it? Because Gracchus be angry. <laughs> Is Gracchus raging with a crowbar? I mean, I wouldn't quite hit the word crowbar, but I mean, I have a crowbar and a hammer in my kit. If it comes to it, I am all for just essentially just brute force this fucking door open if I have to. All I right. Think, I think that's our best bet at the moment, really. Cool. Um, I want to take a look around where the lock would be on the door to see if there's anything I can sort of get the crowbar into to start prying. Okay. I'll, I'll keep it with that in the same investigation. So... You think you can probably work the bar in to the um, sort of a bit of a bit of the door that's flush against the wall ahead. Okay, I will do that. At which point, then I'm going to just start trying to wrench this door open on the crowbar. Okay, I'm guessing strength athletics. Oh, yeah. Natural 20. The door turns into powder. <laughs> it's, a 20, it's, it's a total of 27. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> to, be a, to be a door in Gracchus's way. Okay. <laughs> Especially in angry Gracchus. <laughs> so, you... And you see that you hear the lock creaking... And you hear it starting to kind of buckle. And you, with one last, whoa, you, there is an audible sound as it separates, as the lock kind of, part of the lock separates and hits the ground on the other side of the door. But it is now effectively unlocked. So, so you mean we weren't able to do that stealthily through that way of opening that door? <laughs> I mean not quite it is what it is um, you open the door do you open the door slowly but yes um, on the other side of the door is uh... okay on the other side of the door there is a person it is not Gracchus Fobre. It's not uh, Cassius. <laughs> it's definitely not Gracchus Fobreaker. Because you, you're going through the door. Behind the and door, not... the abyss, and <laughs> you stare back at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's not Cassius either. 
It is a figure hooded and cloaked. Not a tabaxi, either. And it's definitely not Cassius. Definitely not Cassius. So, yeah, it was a tabaxi because I was not prepped for shifts to appear this episode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is um, someone else. Looks like an elf. Waiting for you, it seems. Your name. It gives you a wry smile. Call me Raven. Where is he? We didn't think you'd make it this far. Then you fucking underestimated me. Where is he? Uh... Mm, okay. The uh, the figure, Raven, draws a short sword, and then draws another, and another. <laughs> <laughs> it gets one in his toes, and then another one in his toes, and ah, on in his mouth. You've done well, but he is far enough. And we'll uh, see you next time. We'll leave it there. Not even going to sign that one off. That's dope. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Come back next time. Pew.